I think I'm gonna go ahead and get started just out of respect for all of you. So I just wanna introduce myself. My name is Lauren Peterson, and I am so excited to be here for this Lunch and Learn today. And I am gonna take a couple minutes just to like introduce myself because some of you, I mean like, I don't know, a lot of you on here don't know me. Sometimes I'm like the forgotten child down here in the States. <laughs> but anyway, um, I am a mom of three daughters. Tia is eight, Hadley is six, and Carolyn just turned two. I am an oil field wife, a proud oil field wife. Um, Curtis works a hitch of two weeks on, two weeks off, and what that means is I solo parent for half the year while he's working his hitch. I am a lifestyle enthusiast. I love everything fashion, home, cooking, you name it. I'm all about the hacks and tips and tricks. I really enjoy doing that. And I am a leader. I lead an international business of women that span two countries in many, many states and provinces, and it is just so incredible. And don't ask me how I balance it. I hate the word balance. I don't believe in balance. I think it's bogus. What I work towards is harmony, and I can live my life with harmony, and i that's really what I strive for, and you'll hear me talk a lot about that as a leader as you guys get to know me. So before we get started, I just wanna be super transparent. One, you can absolutely send me a friend request on Facebook. Two, you can hop over to Instagram and follow me at Girls Goals and Gong Shows. You can check out my lifestyle blog, Girls Goals, and gongshows.com and definitely pop over to YouTube where I have a channel that is strictly dedicated to my Mary Kay business and giving you all tips and tricks on how to better your business. I upload videos every Tuesday and I have one coming up tomorrow and I just really hope that that blesses your business in some way, shape or form. So another thing, I want to promote interaction on here. I hate talking to crickets. Do not make me talk to crickets. Do not make me wonder if you're watching. Do not make me wonder if you're out there. I want to know you're there. In fact, I am going to do a draw after today's Lunch and Learn for a fabulous prize. How do you get the fabulous prize, you ask? By commenting, I wanna know your name, I wanna know where you're tuning in from, I want likes, I want hearts. For every comment I get from you, you're going to be entered to win today's prize, which I will talk about at the end of this Lunch and Learn. So, the more comments, the better. All right, are we ready to get started? So, today Shirley asked me to talk a little bit about my eye story. I do have some notes over here. If I stumble, it's because the R on my computer isn't working. Can we talk about that? Not the X, not the Z, the R. Do you know how many let words have the letter R in them? It's just not good. So anyway, if I like stumble, it's because I'm trying to read something that's missing the letter R. So I do have some notes to the side. I don't want you to think I'm not paying attention to you. I am, but I like to kind of look at a little bit of notes just so I stay on track. So Shirley asked me to share my I story today in 20 minutes, which will be a bloody miracle if I can do that. I will try to keep it to 20 minutes. <laughs> so here's a little backstory. This is like quite the group here that we have. I am connected to just about everybody in here. Number one, Shirley is my mother-in-law. She had this little baby. His name was Curtis. He grew up and I married him. So Curtis Peterson is my husband. That is Shirley's youngest son. And then obviously Krista is my sister-in-law. I'm the favorite daughter-in-law and sister-in-law, right? Yes, of course. And Annie Peters and Brianne Walter are my offspring directors who are rocking it up in Canada, representing the Pink Pizzazz unit, now their own units. Yay, so exciting, so much love to them. Um, you know, they were my consultants that moved into my sister sales directors and now we're just like literally doing life together, which is absolutely amazing. Also in this group, you know, there's Carissa, there's Sorela, and there's Kelly, which is just the beauty of Mary Kay that you come across these women that suddenly become your co-workers, your partners, your sisters. It really is a sisterhood and you meet amazing people along the way. So we are all very tied together in this group. So I started Mary Kay for myself. <laughs> it was kind of super selfish. I started Mary Kay to find myself. And you know what? I did find myself. And once I did find myself, I have made it my mission to help other women find themselves. That is literally the only reason right now I am rocking Mary Kay is because it did what it needed to do for me. And now it's my turn to help other women, you know, reap the benefits of that. So I do this mostly through authenticity and humor. Um, in fact, on the daily, you would not find me in this. I was told to wear this. That's why I'm wearing it today. Normally you would find me in CC cream, holding a coffee and rocking leggings. 
let's just be honest. That's the truth. That's who I am. But I can definitely dress up with the best of them. Don't get me wrong on that. And I do love wearing my director suit. So, all right. I started my Mary Kay business seven years ago. I can't even believe I'm saying that. The other day I was playing tennis. Somebody asked me how old I was. I said I was 26. And I was like, no, I'm not. Actually, I'm 35. I don't know why I said I was 26. <laughs> I can't even believe it. I don't know. It's just crazy how the years just all kind of roll together and they seem to get faster and faster. But I have been in Mary Kay now for seven years and I will tell you it was not actively seeking Mary Kay. Mary Kay found me. How many of you on here did Mary Kay find you? Or were you out there looking for Mary Kay? Were you out there like, I know I want to do Mary Kay. Somebody signed me up for Mary Kay. Mary Kay, Mary Kay, Mary Kay. If that was you, that's amazing. We love people like you. But that was not me. Mary Kay found me. And I want to talk to you a little bit about planting seeds because Mary Kay found me through planted seeds. Shirley didn't even realize she was planting the seeds of Mary Kay in my heart. I know she didn't even, I don't even think she, like she probably still wonders like what happened, but that is how I, that grew in me. So we talk a lot about planting seeds as leaders where we say, you may have a party, you may have a facial, you may have something that you do not think it went that well. You might think, I didn't have huge sales. I didn't book a party. She didn't sign up with me. I didn't get any you know, referrals. I don't feel like this was good. Well, you know what? Throw that off the table. Yes, stats are good like that, but throw it off the table. It is all about planting seeds. Did they have fun? Right? Did they have fun? Did you make an impression on them? When they left, do you think they felt better when they left than when they came to you? Because that's what planting seeds is all about. So in the time that I had met Shirley, from the first time I met her, she came, they came blowing in in this big old pink caddy down to St. Norbert College to watch Curtis play, play hockey. And I met him and I was like, I didn't even know his mom drove this pink Cadillac. And it wasn't just a pink Cadillac. It was like the old school. It wasn't even that old school, but it is. It was like the old school epic big old caddy. And I just remember riding with them to Red Robin after his game and we just like glided in this pink Cadillac. And little did I know, little did she know the seed was actually planted there. So for the next series of time, as I dated Curtis, as I got to know the family, as we got married, as we moved to Canada, um, the seeds were planted and I saw how Shirley was living her life. They traveled around the world. I saw, that, saw they were financially stable. I saw that she had raised three children at home, which was huge. And I just was like intrigued by this lifestyle. And I, you know, like I said, I didn't really even realize it. So anyway, let's fast forward to a time that I was at a point in my life where I knew I needed something more. I was living in Mydale, Saskatchewan, 500 people. That includes the cats and dogs. We always joke about that. <laughs> I still come across people today who are like, I grew up in a super small town. It was like 2000 people. And I'm like, oh honey, I lived in a town of 500. Like, I, I win. <laughs> anyway, so um, it was a town of 500 people. I knew very, very few people in the community. Most people didn't even know my name. They knew me as Curtis Peterson's wife. I'm not that woman. I don't actually like living life like that. Like there's some people out there who live for that. That's awesome. That is not me. I am an independent woman. I got a lot of stuff to bring to the table and I am, I was Lauren before I, you know, even knew Curtis. So that really bothered me. I was really kind of drowning in that. The fact that, okay, now I was a Peterson and this is who you are. You're defined by that. You're defined by your husband. You're defined as a mother. And people in the community didn't know me. I was Amer an American. I mean, I still am, but I was an American up in this small town and I wasn't a big waver and people would be waving at me. And I was like, I'm not waving back. You might get shot where I come from if you wave back. And then I got this really bad reputation that they thought I wasn't nice, which is totally not true. But anyway, it was just like this whole big thing was happening. And I knew that I needed something more in my life, but I certainly didn't know what it was. Okay. So that's where I was. That's where I was at. It bothered me. And I want to know if anybody's ever been there. There are so many, you know, we're so many different people. We are all, you know, come into this business for different reasons. This may not be relatable to some of you, but I'm wondering out there of those of you watching, if anybody can relate to this kind of losing that sense of self, kind of wondering what happened to me? Who am I? What do I really want out of life? Am I forgetting where I came from and what I represent all the things and what made it even more important to me, especially at that certain time was the fact that I was now a mother to a daughter. And I was pregnant again. And I knew I needed to be solid. I needed to be a solid, solid mom to these girls because this world is terrifying. It's 
terrifying. And all of us women have been through something ourselves that is tragic and sad and not, you know, good situations or whatever. And I knew that I had to be on my A game to raise these babies so that they could be on their A game. And I couldn't do that if I didn't know who I was. And I couldn't do that if I wasn't okay with myself. And I couldn't do that if I was lost. And so I knew and I was really struggling with the fact that I needed something more in my life to get back to, to me. Okay. And again, that's like this mission now that I have for all other women that I, I need, I want to help them, those that are struggling with the same thing, because Mary Kay basically did that for me. So anyway, um, okay. I didn't look for Mary Kay. Mary Kay found me. Like I said, Shirley was print, planting the seeds. I was seven months into my second pregnancy. It wasn't Mary Kay. It wasn't Mary Kay. Shirley, Mary Kay. They're all this. She's the same person. Let's be honest. It pretty much feels that way. Um, I, my skin was breaking out really bad and I had always kind of been snobby about my skincare. I was using frou-frou stuff from a frou-frou salon, still from the States that I was like importing up into Canada, kind of had a bad attitude. And I was like, you know what? Like Shirley's using this stuff. I'm kind of in a pinch. I might as well like try it and use it and see if it works because I was breaking out and I always had really good skin. So I tried the miracle set and literally within like two weeks, my skin had completely cleared. I loved the routine. It felt amazing. People were noticing. And I was just like, hmm, okay. So like she's got this life and now she's like repping this product that actually works. This is very intriguing to me. And the more I thought about it, the more I started thinking like, well, why can't I do this? If she can do it, why can't I do this? Right? Isn't that how it is? Like, if we can do this, you guys can do this. That's what's so funny, becoming a director or anything. Like, if I did it, trust me when I tell you, you can do it. So I started thinking to myself, like, maybe I can do this. Maybe, like, why not? Even if it's just to, like, some friends and family, I have a pretty good network. I'm up for meeting new people in the community since nobody knows who I am other than Curtis's wife. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to sign up for this. So I called Shirley, and I, or Shirley called me. I can't even remember. I think we were just having this totally normal conversation we were probably doing family dinner on a Sunday night and I was bringing something and she was asking if I could bring something and da, 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 da. And I was like, oh, by the way, I want to sign up for Mary Kay. And she's like, like, really? Like, okay. <laughs> and I was like, no, really, I want to sign up for Mary Kay. Like, I think I can do this. And she was like, okay, like I'll send you an agreement. And my husband, who knows me very, very well, told his mother, he's like, I just want to let you know, like, if she says she's going to do it, she's going to do it. Cause she's kind of that type of person, which I am. I'm a very high D. I'm a, you know, if I say I'm going to do it, I do it type of person. And so anyway, thus started my Mary Kay career at seven months pregnant, <laughs> knowing absolutely nobody in the community, where a community that already had a pink Cadillac top 10 director in it. So how many people have ever been debilitated by the fact that, oh, is it a saturated market? I can't sell because it's a saturated market or there's too many people already selling it or she's already super successful. So how am I going to be successful and all that? Trust me, when my starter kit came and I really sat down and thought about it, Shirley told me to make a list of 30 women I knew. I got to two people and stopped because I didn't know anybody else. And then I really started thinking about it and I was like, okay, so Shirley's already like got apparently the entire town of Mydale. She's a top 10 director. She's got a pink Cadillac. Where, where do I fit into this? Well, that's that choice, you know, impactful moments or important moments that you can decide you're either going to cave to your negative Nancy thinking or you're going to rise above it and find a way, make a way and be the way. And that's just the type of person I am. So I found a way, I made the way and I was the way. And what happened was within nine months of starting my Mary Kay business, I was able to promote myself to the position of a sales director and I started running my own unit of women while continuing to sell my products personally and having a baby within that time. It was epic. It was amazing. It was so much fun. I think my first, I think it was nine or 10 weeks. I just found the ribbon as a consultant. I sold a thousand dollars every single week, brought in about $4,500 to Christmas, cleared profit. It was amazing. It was just like so much fun. And I look back with such love on those days. Like it was just such a really fun time. Y'all are right there. Like you're in one of my favorite times that I was ever in this business where you're just gearing up because you wouldn't be in here if you're not gearing up. And if you're in here and you're not gearing up, you probably shouldn't be in here because it's just such an exciting time with your business because you know what's right over 
that next mountain that you can absolutely climb, you can absolutely do it, and you're on the journey right now. And I, like I said, I just look back on those days with so much love, and I was, I was so new to it, and I was just so excited about it, and that's where you all are right now. And I just, like, I just love that. I think that's super exciting for all of you. So, all right. Um, by the time I was a director, I was able to fully supplement a second family income, more making more doing that than I was when I worked corporate. I worked corporate in the states. I worked corporate in Canada as well, and. Um, I was also able to cover the costs of car payments through earning Mary Kay career cars, which I still continue to earn, um, and take my husband on a trip of a lifetime on the top director trip. Shirley and I were the first mother and mother, mother slash daughter-in-law duo in the history of Mary Kay Canada to land in the top 10 in 2015, I believe. Epic. Legacy. So cool amazing moment. We were bawling. I mean, I was bawling. I don't know what she was doing. I could barely see because I had so many tears running down my eyes. But anyway, that was the most amazing moment for me. So there, at that point in time in 2015, now there were two top 10 directors that came out of town of 500, Mydale, Saskatchewan, Canada, two Cadillac driving directors, two going on the top director trips. And shortly after that, we offspring Annie Peters out of Mydale as a director. Like you guys, Whatever barriers you have, we've broken them for you. Between the directors in this group, we've broken them. So whatever excuse you have or whatever obstacle you think you have, one of us has overcome it already for you. So we will be able to help you. We always talk about standing on the, the shoulders of giants, right? And how they help us get to the next level. Well, we're like mini giants. We're not like really the giants of the business. Those are the national sales directors. But, you know, we're your mini giants. So stand on our shoulders. We'll show you how to do it because we've probably already done it. And like I said, somebody in this group has probably done it. So even if it isn't your own director, it's going to be Shirley or somebody else in here. So anyway, um, it's just been absolutely amazing. And shortly after that, I was able to um, become a global director, which means I started running my business out of two countries, not just Canada, but also the U.S. And it hasn't stopped. I've continued to do unit club, continued to earn cars. Curtis and I are going <laughs> on the cruise in just a couple weeks with every, all the directors in here. We're all going on this like amazing cruise. And I just can't handle it. Like this company is ridiculous. I was sitting outside on the deck. I probably was drinking wine. And I looked at my um, assignment of where I was going to be staying on this cruise. So when they give you a free, free cruise, you kind of assume like you might be like in the bowels of the ship. I'm not going to complain about it. It's a free cruise. I have an ocean view balcony room. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? I was just like, are we sure about this? Ocean view balcony. And then they called me the next day and they were like, hey, Lauren, this is Mary Kay. We were just calling to, and we're not comfortable with you flying in on the 7th. So do you mind if we fly you in a day early? We'll put you up at the Hyatt in Miami and there will be a driver there to pick you up. And I'm like, who's like, does anybody ever say no to that? Like I was like, absolutely. And so it's just been absolutely incredible. And this cruise I actually earned for Curtis because we just celebrated our 10 year anniversary and we had cruised to the Bahamas or we had gone to the Bahamas for our initial honeymoon. And so I was like, I'm taking him back there to where we honeymooned for our 10 year anniversary. And thank you, Mary Kay, for paying for it. It's just absolutely amazing. So, I mean, that's a little bit of my story in a nutshell. There's a lot of stuff in between. It's not always sunshine, rainbows, and sprinkles, you guys. Like, let's be honest. Anybody that tells you it is, is a bloody liar. Like, it's not true. There's definitely hiccups. There's definitely obstacles. There's definitely days that are like dumpster fires that you don't think you can put out. But you know what? That's life. And you know, that's the stuff that reminds you that you're living. I don't want to live a life that I forget that I'm actually living because it's so mundane. It's so boring. I'm so stinking scared to do anything. Like who wants to do that? I mean, I guess some people do, but that's, to me, that's sad. I want to do a life that reminds me that I'm still alive, that the pain of certain failures reminds me that I am still alive. I am still human. I have room to grow. I have room to expand. I have things to learn still. I have lessons to learn that, you know, maybe in my pain, I'm able to teach other people or help other people get through their pain more quickly or their obstacles more quickly. And with that comes the successes. When I look back on it, are there things that have been super hard? Of course there are. You guys I have so many stories that I would be happy to share with you about how hard it's been. It is hard to pick up and move countries. It is hard to move states when you think you're going to be somewhere for a long time and your husband gets this job out of Texas and you move to Texas and you don't know anybody. You don't know anybody. But I figured out how to get 350 leads within two months knowing nobody. Okay? It's hard. But you know what? It's hard to be boring. It's hard to be broke. It's hard to be out of shape. It's hard. Like, it's, it's just hard, you guys. 
Choose your hard. What hard do you want? What hard do you want in your life? Do you want to complain for the rest of your life or do you want to fight for it? Okay, choose your hard. And so that's something that really sticks with me. So the best part of all of it is, I, like I've said, I found myself again. I'm very comfortable with who I am. I'm very authentic in who I am. And I can have fun with it again. And I, and I absolutely love that. And like I said, I've made that my mission. And what my legacy to leave behind is, is that I want to help other women find themselves again with their truly authentic self. Because you are your only version of yourself. God only made one of you. He has only made one of you. And there will only ever be one of you. There will never be another you. Okay, and only you can do you the best, right? We can copy the cat, but the cat's always going to do it best. And so just know that you are your authentic self and nobody does it better than you. And when you work in your power, you are your best version of yourself. And so that legacy that I am able to continue on to pass on as I hope to, and then the legacy that I'm leaving for my children, right? I go back to this from the very beginning. I wanted to be a good role model to Tia just Tia at the time, who's turned into Tia, Hadley, and Carolyn. Three little girls. Three little girls, my goodness. So I, I am that for them, that legacy that I will leave for them, that they are confident, that they are strong, that they are smart, that you know what, it is okay to be assertive. I love the word assertive. You know, that it's okay to be yourself, that you, you know, we do affirmations every morning, you guys. My girls go to school and they do affirmations. They sit there and go, I am Hadley Gertrude Peterson. I am kind, I am smart, I can do hard things. My kids do this every morning. Carolyn, who's two, I literally have a video of this kid saying her affirmations back because she wants to be like her sisters. It's just the cutest thing. So, I mean, the business and the opportunity and my story, it's just incredible. It's been an absolutely amazing opportunity for me. And I love every single second of it. So that's just a little bit of my I story. I don't know. I just like blew through that. I've had a lot of coffee today. So if I went like... I'm sorry, because it happens. Um, just one other thing that I did want to share with you is um, Shirley asked if I had any like book recommendations, which is a really great question, because like I said, I was a creative writing and English major, and books are very much a part of my life. And I'm going to take a little step on my soapbox for like two seconds. There are so many self-help books out there right now. There are so many like random people who are writing about like, you know, how, you know, it's self-help. It's like that so whole self-help industry. You guys, the classics have the same teachings in them. And so I tend to go towards the classics. Works of fiction, not necessarily self-help books, but in these works of fiction, you will find things to help you grow, things to help you be a better leader, things to help expand your worldview, all that type of stuff. And one of my favorite books, and I think some of you in here have read it before, one of my favorite books is called The Alchemist. And it is the most amazing book and I, I mean, Mary Kay has to have read it, like, because so many of the teachings of Mary Kay are reflected in this book called The Alchemist. And so I want all of you and I challenge all of you to go download it, to rent it, to go to your library, to buy it. I mean, it's a good investment. Highlight it, tear up, you know, get the pages wrinkly, really dive into it. Um, one of the biggest, you know, kind of concepts from this is that when you you know, put a thought out there and when you dream and when what you think about, the universe will conspire to help make it happen. And Mary Kay always said what you think about, you bring about. That is literally what this entire book is about. And it is just the most darling, amazing story um, about an alchemist. And I hope that you take the time to read it. It will change, I think, your life. It definitely did for me. And you will pull... Um, a lot of really good lessons out of it, business lessons, life lessons, expanding your thinking lessons, and just it's just a really cool book, and I hope that you guys check it out. So I have a little bit of time. I know I went over a little bit. I'm super sorry, but does anybody have any questions for me that you would like to ask right now? I'm happy to answer, I mean, like not anything, but like I'm happy to answer just about anything that you want to ask me. So I'll just take a couple minutes here to do that if you'd like. 